Hey, what's up everyone? Pase Baller here. We are now on this December 6, 2022 NBA game day. We have three games for today. And to kick things off, we will be talking about the game between Los Angeles Lakers and the home team, Cleveland Cavaliers. The game will actually start at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. That's going to be 8.30 a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. And by the way, the spread that is given in here is minus 4, and that's given towards the home team, Cleveland Cavaliers. And before we proceed, let's just go ahead and uh, take a look at the standings and the rankings of both teams. Starting with Cleveland Cavaliers, uh, they are the number 3 in the Eastern Conference with a record of 15 wins and 9 losses. Well, for the Los Angeles Lakers, uh, they belong to the West. And they are at number 13 with a record of 10 wins and 12 losses. Alright, so here we go. Um, Cleveland Cavaliers, they would be enjoying their home court advantage. Um, in terms of uh, fatigue, well, both teams had their rest last night, so we can just skip that part. But in terms of momentum, we got to give it towards Los Angeles Lakers because um, the Lakers are actually on a three-game winning streak approaching this game. While the Cavs, they're actually um, coming off a loss. That was a loss against the Knicks like a couple of nights ago approaching this game. And perhaps we can go ahead and take a look at the availability of the players and the health of both teams. Starting off with Cleveland Cavaliers, I see three players listed out. So those would be Rubio, Dean Wade, and Dylan Windler. And we have a Jared Allen listed as questionable. All right, so... For the Los Angeles Lakers, well, everyone, everyone that is listed in here um, are tagged as questionable. So we got Anthony Davis, uh, Gabriel, LeBron James, and Cole Swider. Um, I don't know, but uh, maybe in terms, of, uh, in terms of health, I still got to give the, um, the advantage towards Los Angeles Lakers because it's been like this, but um, highly likely Anthony Davis and LeBron James would actually be shooting up as this has been the case for the past couple of games. But yeah. I mean, you can take a look at it. Davis, ha you know, Davis has been playing, and Davis has been great. <laughs> you know, to be, you know, to be quite, uh, to be, to be quite honest. All right. So, uh, what do we have here? So we have two teams. Um, we have two, uh, two teams, which are in very good forms. So what do I mean by that? Um, you look at Cleveland Cavaliers' record at fifteen and nine, and you look at uh, Los Angeles Lakers' record at ten and twelve. You would disagree, right? But I'm talking about uh, their last 10 games. For their last 10 games, these two teams have been winning. Starting off with Cleveland Cavaliers, for their last 10 games, they have won 7. For Los Angeles Lakers, they have actually won 8 out of their last 10. So if you take, you know, if you do the math, Los Angeles Lakers is even, quote-unquote, hotter than Cleveland Cavaliers, right? Um, that's why this game is kind of tricky, you know. Um, again, approaching this game, Cavs lost to the New York Knicks. And approaching this game, the Lakers, they are in a three-game winning streak. Um, out of their last 10 games, they have won eight. So um, in terms of form, you know, a lot of people would actually uh, point towards the Los Angeles Lakers. Um, I, would be, I would be siding with Cleveland Cavaliers in here, though, um, because of uh, a couple of factors. Number one, um, they are at home. Number two, um, with, the, with the loss that they had against the New York Knicks, I expect the Cavs to bounce back and to bounce back real hard to be a bit more aggressive towards at, at attacking the basket. So, of course, with that said, Donovan Mitchell, you know, he has to lead the pack, if you know what I'm saying. Um, also, um, if you can see the improvement of the status of uh, Jared Allen, uh, for me, their best big, um, he's now actually questionable. So, still, there's no, there's no assurance that he would be suiting up and playing, but, you know, it, it, it has at least improved, right? It has, it has improved from out into questionable. So if Allen will be playing, that will be a huge, huge plus for Cleveland Cavaliers. But regardless of the status of Allen or not, um, I believe Mobley and Kevin Love, they should be able to provide um, uh, the rebounding and the defense that the Cleveland Cavaliers need to actually uh, beat the Lakers and at the same time cover the spread of minus four. So my pick on this one would be Cleveland Cavaliers minus four. Cleveland, minus four. Peace out. Pase love and God bless.